Hello everyone, my name is Cindy Lucio. I am with ELAX Career and Job Services Center. Uh, today I have the pleasure of doing our first A Career Cafe interview with Edward Vickers. Hello Edward, thank you so much for joining us today. Looking forward to learning more about you. Um, so for our first question we have, can you tell me a bit about your personal background and career path that led you to the role you're in today? Well, good morning everybody, my name, is, my name is Edward A. Vickers. Everybody calls me Eddie. Um, I am a fourth generation teacher in my family. Um, my great grandfather was a uh, middle school teacher. My grandfather and grandmother were principals and for LAUSD, my mother is currently a teacher slash dean of students in Inglewood Unified School District. And now I'm currently the band director at Fremont High School in Los Angeles Unified School District. Um, I literally love what I do. Um, my background is in music, but um, it, it was in science at first. I love science. I, I loved chemistry and I, wanted to be, and I wanted to be a pharmacist, but then I got to college and saw that first book and was like negative. Um, so I decided to go to my second passion, which is music, and I really enjoyed it. And um, I've always wanted to be a teacher, and I've always wanted to give back to my community. That's why I chose this, this profession. And my uh, model for teaching is be who I needed when I was younger. So I needed somebody who was uh, firm, fair, and consistent. And I made sure that I'm that kind of teacher for everybody. Uh, what skills do you think are most important for someone interested in a job like yours? What are your biggest challenges to, mm -hmm. you face day to day? Um, the skills you need to have is mostly a people person. Um, you have to be open to everyone. You can't just be to yourself. Um, what I face day to day is um, I'm dealing with, I teach in the public sector of education, so I deal with a lot of students who have to, um, who, who, who come from, from low income families who, who, who don't get food. The only, the only source of food is the school. The only source of escape is the schoolhouse, and they, have, they deal with a lot of trauma a lot of uh, turmoil at home. So you have to be the counselor, the friend, the listener, the confidant, the, the parent, the teacher, all in one setting. So it's a lot of hats you have to wear. Um, you also have to, you can't judge anybody. You can't um, um, show favoritism in, in this, in this um, profession, even though there are times you will be like, oh, that was my favorite student, but you really can't tell them that. Um, but you have to treat everybody fairly and have give everybody the same opportunity that you want to give yourself. Um, and you also have to know your subject matter as well, because some of these students will call you out of not knowing certain things and, and be and be open with them. Be the, the biggest challenge for me was was showing the students that I'm human and that I can that I cry and I laugh and I bleed just like they do. Um, so yeah, that's the that's the part of the day to day job that's very 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 difficult. What do you enjoy most about the work you do, and what are you most excited about right now? Taking students from not knowing anything about music or playing an instrument in the in beginning of the school year and watch them grow playing, watch them grow playing the instrument, knowing, knowing how to fix the instrument and then read the notes on the board and play the instrument themselves. And what I am most excited about right now is that I have more time since we're in COVID right now. Um, that I get to, so when schools open back up, I have a lot of time to come up with new ideas and new, new work I can give them and, um, and new ways of teaching. Um, Cause right now it's kind of difficult teaching an instrument via Zoom and, and learning an instrument is very hands-on activity. So that's, so I can't wait to get back to the classroom and have the students there. I can't wait, I'm so excited. What recommendations should students explore to enter this field? What are common entry level jobs? What students should start doing is doing the research on the school district they wanna, they wanna go to. And so for example, if you wanna go to um, LAUSD, um, well actually, take that back. If you, if you wanna work in the state of California, you have to pass uh, two tests, you have to pass the CBEST. Which is the basic, which is a basic exam, reading and writing, reading and writing exam, and you have to pass the CSET, um, which is your um, subject matter test. So you have to pass those two tests, and then upon doing that, you can still work in the district. You can be a, um, an, uh, a teacher's aide in the district as well to see the inside of the school you want to work at. You can also volunteer your time there. Those are like entry level jobs, um, but you can also be a sub there, a substitute teacher there. But if you want to be a sub, you have to pass the CBEST exam first before you can do anything. Um, I recommend you guys um, pick the subject you want to do and 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 get the practice books for the CSET exam. Um, then I want you to make sure that you um, know the ins and outs of education, of how to ask teachers. Um, if you, if you, even if you get stuck on something, ask a teacher in that subject matter, and they will help you because our we we need more teachers, and we're not going to stop you from being a teacher. We're going to help you. That's what I did. I asked for lots of help, and some people did some stuff for me and I did some stuff for them and we did and we worked it out and we figured it out and um yeah that's 
those are the kind of jobs we have. So for our last question, um, yep. we want to, you know, kind of get a little bit more of your insight. If you could do it over again, how would you pursue your career path? Um, I would still go to HBCU. I was because it, because it prepared me for, for everything. Um, but let me clarify, it's open by college university. It's, it's open for everyone. It's not just for African-American people. It's open for everyone. Anybody can go, anybody can apply and get in. There is no discrimination there. Um, I went there because my mother went there. My mom went to Spelman. So I made sure to go to HBCU and get a, and get a degree in education because that's where all of my teachers went to get an education. So and my best and favorite teachers went to an HBCU. So I was like, I want to do that same thing. Um, and I would, I would do it differently. I would still major in music, but I would also have my, my minor in, in science and chemistry and stuff like that. So I could have just in case something happens. I'm like, no, I can do science too. You don't have to get rid of me. <laughs> so I can do that as well. But I wouldn't, I wouldn't trade experience for the world. It was like the best choice I made for myself. And yeah, I had fun. I had a lot, a lot of fun. A lot of fun. And it gave me different perspectives on the world because a lot of people think that Los Angeles County is the world. And I'm like, no, there's 49 other states out there y'all can play with. Awesome. Thank you so, so much for You're sharing welcome. everything that you have. It's been great uh, talking to you. Thank you so much for, for giving us your time. Oh, of course. Anytime. Anytime.